Hey coin enthusiasts, how is it going? Today we are diving into 10 rare and valuable US coins from 1980s that could be lurking in your pocket change or collection right now. From quarters to nickels and amazing error coins, these are finds most collectors dream of. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe and let's find out if you might have one of these gems in your collection. Starting with his 1980D Jefferson Nickel in Mint State 66 with full steps. The 1980D Jefferson Nickel in Mint State 66 graded by PCGS is a rare and highly coveted coin for collectors. Finding a Jefferson Nickel was a strong strike and full step detail is challenging especially in early 1980s. The full steps designation signifies a sharply defined set of steps of Monticello's porch, indicating a superior strike quality. In high grades like MS66, these coins are rare due to the minting quality issues common at the time, making them even more valuable. With collectors constantly seeking premium examples, a 1980D nickel with these features can command impressive prices, especially when it boasts pristine surfaces and minimal contact marks, highlighting the coin's exceptional quality and appeal in the numismatic market. These rare specimens ended up selling for $3,120 at Stacks Bowers auction. Here is a rare error penny, 1989 D. Lincoln cent struck on a pre-1983 cent planchette. In 1982, the US Mint changed the composition of Lincoln cents from 95% copper with 5% zinc to copper-plated zinc with a 99.2% zinc core and 0.8% copper plating. I frequently mention this in my live streams. This particular piece is preserved in exceptionally high quality. It's incredibly rare for an error of that kind to appear so long after the composition switch. Such, such unique pieces are always a valuable addition to any high-end Lincoln scent or mint error collection. These coins' smooth satiny surfaces maintain a full pinkish rose luster, complemented by a sharp complete strike, subtle swirls of slightly varied color along the lower right edge of the reverse might explain why PCGS opted for a slightly lower numeric grade. It was sold for $3,525 at Stacks Bowers auction. Another modern rarity, 1983 Noah's Roosevelt Dime. The 1983 Noah's Roosevelt Dime in PR70 deep cameo condition is one of the rarest and most desirable modern proof coins. Intended to have an S mint mark for San Francisco, a minting error left this coin without it, making it a standout error variety in Roosevelt Dime series. In PR70 deep cameo, this coin reached the highest grade for proofs. With flawless surfaces and striking contrast between the frosted design and mirror or liquid like background. Only a few examples exist in this perfect grade, which significantly elevates its rarity and value. This no S error is a prime find for collectors, with values often reaching tens of thousands of dollars at auctions, due to its high grade, rarity, and demand among enthusiasts. This rare specimen was sold for $8,225 at RTH auctions. The 1982P Washington Quarter in Mint State 68 is an exceptionally rare and valuable coin, as high quality examples from this year are incredibly scarce. Due to economic constraints, in early 1980s the US Mint significantly reduced its quality control resulting in a quarters with numerous flaws, weak strikes and excessive wear. Finding one in superb gem condition like MS 68 with sharp details, strong luster and virtually no contact marks is extremely rare. With only a handful of known examples in this pristine condition, collectors highly prize this coin and it commands a premium at auctions. Its rarity in top grades makes this gem a treasure for serious numismatists. This MS 68 Washington Quarter ended up selling for $10,200. Here is 1982D small date sent uh, struck in a bronze planchette. Very rare transitional alloy error. Due to the rising cost of copper, sense transitioned from bronze to copper-plated zinc during 1982, as we mentioned, as we mentioned before. 
The quality of strikes declined and modifications were made to the obverse legends, including the date, to allow faster press production of zinc scents. At Denver, the small date subtype was introduced after the remaining bronze planchets were coined. In surviving 1982, these small date bronze scents are transitional alloy errors, cousins to the famous 1943 bronze scents. The present lot is sharply struck and minimally abraded with medium to deep walnut brown toning. This modern rarity ended up selling for $10,800. 1981 Lincoln Scent struck on a 1981p Kennedy half dollar. Graded in mid state 64 by PCGS, a one sided strike is centered on half dollar host coin. The half dollar forms a prominent die cap bowl shape, distorting the reverse design. No elements of the reverse Lincoln scent design is present, suggesting that this piece was struck between an obverse scent die and a piece of clothes or other material. Satiny surface is displayed nickel gray color. It was sold for $13,200. 1984 Lincoln Scent was double diverse, graded in mid state 68 plus red by PCGS and proven by CHC. The Cherry Pickers Guide uh, credits Rush Richard Allen as discoverer of 1984 doubled ear scent variety. Lincoln's beard and bow tie also show uh, prominent doubling, other than ear. The variety is readily available in most mint state grades, but MS68 plus red coins are undeniably rare. The present coin appears as made aside from a solitary pinpoint tan fleck inside the obverse rim at 730. Distributed tiny trapped gas bubbles are usual for the issue. It was sold for $15,600. 1983 P. Washington Quarter overstruck on an amusement token. Graded in mean state 65 by NGC. Ranked uh, number 65 in the 100 greatest US error coins of 2010. Error coins published in 2010. A privately made vending machine game token found its way between quarter dollar dies, presumably with assistance from a mischievous mint or planchet supplier employee who had little hope of recovering the piece once struck. The undertop is slightly smaller than a quarter and appears brassy with lime green, peach and rose patina. The satiny surfaces show few small spots but there are no visible marks. It was sold for $15,862.50. This is 1980s with Lincoln Sands struck on a copper planchet graded as AU55 by PCGS. The typical 1983 scent is copper plated zinc and weighs 2.5 grams. A transitional alloy mint error akin to its more famous 1943 bronze predecessor. A, possibly, a possible explanation is that the copper planchet became wedged in a hopper or mint cart during early 1982 and was finally dislodged uh, the following year. A lightly circulated and moderately abraded mint green and chocolate brown example. Luster illuminates legends. It was sold for sixteen thousand four hundred and fifty dollars. And this is nineteen eighty one S Anthony Dollar in mint state sixty seven plus. Very rare in this lofty grade. The present lot is only coin graded by PCGS as MS sixty seven plus. Neither services this extraordinary piece features a bold strike, reflective fields, and brilliant luster surfaces. It was sold for $21,600. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check your change. You never know what rare finds might be hiding in plain sight. Hope you enjoyed this glimpse into rare error coins. Like and subscribe for more valuable insights into collecting. God's willing, see you in the next video.